What's up guys, it is Starfludge here, today I'm bringing you a brand new video and today we have the best mage gear for Dragon Age Inquisition and this will cover every level zone and by that I mean tier 1 which is level 1 to 7, tier 2 which is level 8 to 15, tier 3 which is around level 16 to 17 and tier 4 which is roughly 18 plus now i've made these on estimates of roughly when you will get tier 2 gear and gear equivalent to that kind of level range so hopefully you guys enjoy this and all can figure out the best gear from this for your mage class as many of you know a lot of my builds are late game so this shall cover every single level area so any of you starting out or in mid game will be able to work out the best possible gear just before we get into this, share this video, hit that like button, click that subscribe button, and let's just get straight into it. So starting off in tier 1, level 1 to 7, the staff that you're going to want is the Sunless Staff. Now this is looted in Lord Seeker's room during the Champions of the Just. Now this is the Templar questline. Now if you do the Mage questline, you'll get a similar staff, however it will be slightly less powerful. Before you actually do these questlines, any kind of stuff will do basically the highest damage stuff is usually just the best until you can get the sunless stuff then going for the helm you're going to want the hat of the inquisitor now this is annoyingly just random loot so if you get it amazing if you don't though you can go and get the templar scribe cowl schematic and this can be purchased from the dwarven bookseller in redcliffe for very very cheap i believe and that is going to be the best thing if you can't get the hat of the inquisitor which is obviously random loot Going on to the armor, you're going to want the superior enchanter coat. Now, this is random loot. However, it can be purchased in Valor Royale for about 298 currency. Now, this was the Inquisition currency, so it may have gone up. I'm not exactly sure, but it's relatively cheap once again, so you will be able to get this at any point as soon as you can get to Valor Royale. For your neck and your two rings, what you're going to want to do is focus for magic and attack only. For your waist, however, you're going to want to aim for max health if possible. That is the best possible waist you can get. Now, moving on to tier 2 for the level 8 to 15, what you're going to want for the staff is early game, which is the low side of this level zone, is the death ward, mainly because it heals on hit, which is absolutely insane. Now, this is acquired in the cave from the Emerald Graves, and this is by doing those puzzles that you will find dotted around the map. Obviously, you can just Google the name of this and you'll find a guide on how to get it. But basically, you have to go up to areas, complete some puzzles in the stars, and voila, a cave opens. And then you'll be able to get the Death Ward. It's relatively easy and you can just jump around the place to get it done. Then later on, you're going to want to get the Grand Enchanter Staff. Now, this, I believe, is level 15. And you loot this from the Ferelden Frostback High Dragon in the Hinterlands. It's extremely useful, but I do suggest, even when you're at a max level of 15 in Tier 2, you're going to want both, mainly because Death Ward has that heal on hit, which is really useful in all scenarios. Next, you're going to want to get your head, which is the Inquisitor Hat Schematic, which is looted from the Northern Hunter High Dragon in Crestwood, or you can go and get the Greater Mistral High Dragon in the Emerald Glaives and pick up the Helm of the Inquisitor from that dragon. Both of them are really, really useful. Kill either dragon and just get one of the either hat schematic or the helm of the Inquisitor and you should be sorted. For your armor, early in this level zone, you're going to want the Masterwork Enchanter Armor, which can be found in the jail in the upper barracks of Terranfall Redoubt. I believe that's how you say it. And you basically just have to break some crates and you should pick it up. And as always, I want to stress, just Google the name I put on the screen and you should be able to find guides to do it easily. Then later on for your armor, you're going to want the Masterwork Battle Mage Coat, which is randomly sold in the Canyon Merchant in the Hissing Waste for an expensive amount of around 8k currency. Now the way to get this is firstly you need the Shortlist Inquisition perk, and then what you have to do is you have to go to the zone in the Hissing Waste and go to the Merchant, and if he doesn't have it, you have to just 
go out of the zone completely so go somewhere like skyhold and then come back to the hissing waste and then go over to the merchant it can be a lengthy process but some people are lucky and get it you know first time some people are unlucky and it takes them forever it's just dependent on how long you want to wait but if you have the masterwork in chantarama you should be fine either way for your neck again you're going to want to go for magic and attack only your waist you're going to once again aim for health however with your rings the first ring that you want and the only ring that you specifically want is the ring of doubt now i have a video on this of how to get it which i'll link in the description below really easy to get and it basically is a huge key ring that defines a lot of mages and it's basically in every single mage build out there Next, for your second ring, you're also going to want to just focus on magic and attack only. Whichever one you can get, just go for that. Now moving on to tier 3, the level 16 to 17, your staff that you're going to want is the Encore Schematic, which again, I stress, Google how to find it because it's quite a complicated puzzle of how to get this. However, because this schematic is actually found in the Trespasser DLC, you're actually going to require the Golden Nug to get it outside of the trespasser content so if you don't have that then you can go and get the staff of the void which is from the Havano high dragon in empress du leon i believe that's how you say it uh, but anyway it can also randomly be sold from the same merchant in valeroyer for a stupidly expensive amount so i stress go and get it from the dragon it's probably easier than farming like 17k currency i believe it's around absolutely mad and if you do want to buy it you're obviously going to need to get the shortlist inquisition perk and be lucky that it pops up moving on to the helm you're going to want the battle mage cow schematic and this can be purchased from the weapons and schematic merchant in the stone bear hold for relatively cheap i think it's like 2.4k currency i'm not sure and this is in jaws of hakon now it might be a bit annoying to get there but once you're there you can just come back out of it so when you're level 16 to 17 i highly suggest you go over get to stone bear hold and then come back out of jaws of hakon and complete the rest of the content or you could just stay there and keep going on now for your armor you're going to want to get the keeper robe schematic and this is looted from the highland ravenger high dragon in empress du leon as you could tell quite a few of pieces of the gear is from empress du leon so basically just go there and try and kill all the dragons you can with a full party and you should be able to do it relatively easy for your neck again magic and attack only waist you're going to want to aim for health ring the ring of doubt and your other ring magic and attack only now that is all of that moving on to tier 4 18 plus you're going to want the best possible gear and for this i have chose the very specific pieces of gear and the exact stats you want on those gear now i've done this already in a video so i'm going to put that in this video right now all of this is available in a game and then the weapons and armor are just all crafted so as you can see my staff is the encore staff we've got 14 percent attack 101 percent crit damage bonus plus 22 magic and then the encore comes with a chance to sing an offensive buff which is usually extremely useful and then we put plus 25 percent spirit damage because as i said before not many things resist spirit damage then for our armor we got 22 cunning for that crit chance 22 magic and 212 max health we don't have any sigils in this and then with our helmet we have the shrewd cap 37 armor with plus 20 cunning as you can see both the armor and helmet are trying to maximize as much cunning as we can for that crit chance the neck we are going is literally the reason we can gain any guard. It's got a 10% cooldown modifier, which is why you saw some of my cooldowns were lower. You have a chance on hit to taunt any enemies, and taunt has the effect of giving you guard. So whenever you taunt enemies, you will be gaining guard, and with that huge barrier that you get, usually you'll be able to stay at 100% barrier and 100% guard at all times, which is insane. And then obviously you get even more mana regen, which is again just absolutely phenomenal. Going with the bind that guys 10% crit chance as you could tell going for that crit chance in this build so we're at around 50% with all of that crit damage bonus it's really useful for dealing out some damage when we need it. Then the superb ring of crit chance another 10% crit chance there and then the last ring ring of doubt of course can't make a mage build without ring of doubt really it's so overpowered. 
and I just want to stress this is probably the best ever gear for a mage in general. Some mages may want to go more defensive, so you may want to pick up more defensive stuff. However, I believe this generally is overall the best gear for mages. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope it helps a lot with any of you struggling to find out the best mage gear possible at every level range. Now, I will be doing this for the rogue and the warrior in the future, but obviously it's just the mage for now. Once again, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Leave a like, click that subscribe button, share this video, comment below, and I will see you next time.